This is a comparison of uh, two vari variable frequency drives. One on uh, the first one <coughs> was on my uh, other YouTube video on uh, the for the 10 by 24 jet lathe, and it's an automation direct model GS2-21PO. And I just got my new drive today. It's a it's a KB. MA-24D KB Electronics, I believe it's called, and uh, they're both rated as up to one horsepower. And I'll take them out of the box and let you see some differences of it. The the KMBA I just got today, and so we'll have a quick look out of the box. The uh, I'll do the the Automation Direct drive first. You can see the packaging, very well packaged, really well protected. I, the manual was in here, I have it in my house, and uh, as I you saw in the earlier video, I'm able to relocate the, the control panel. It's, it's a bigger drive, as you can see, and uh, let's just have a look at the KMBA drive. That's the manual for it. This is the packaging. The packaging, it did the job, it was uh, double boxed. But compared to the uh, GS2 packaging, if packaging means anything to you, it wasn't quite packaged as well, but still very adequate. <clears throat> this particular drive, as seen in another video, and I'll, uh, uh, I'll put a link to that video because I'm going to do the same thing with this drive as the fellow at the other video did. This drive is comparatively smaller, it's almost similar height, but what I was after is the depth. And what I was having problems with, with my uh, Jet 20, 10 by 24 lathe, is where to mount this. Because your input wires come in at the top, and your output wires come in at the bottom, and it's got all these holes in it. And I was thinking, okay, for a metal lathe, if it's close to where the lathe is and where the chips can, can go inside, this could cause a problem. Whereas this particular drive is totally enclosed. Um, this drive here is easy to relocate the front, but the front has a bunch of controls, etc., on it that I really don't need access to, and <clears throat> so I decided not to go with this drive and ordered this one. Uh, this particular one here, I'll have it up uh, fairly quickly when I go to to uh, modify it. I'm going to relocate the switch and the variable uh, speed control, and this one. As an option, it comes with a forward stop reverse switch, which is just a, a single pole double throw switch, and I'll, I'll put that as well. And these controls are going to go on the, on the side of the lathe, as uh, you'll be able to see in, in, a, in a future video. But I thought I'd let you see the differences here. Dealing with the people, Automation Direct were absolutely excellent. They were absolutely excellent. It, can you ship by FedEx? Yes, we can ship by FedEx. And uh, um, when can you ship? And there were issues because of the snowstorms as to when they could ship. And it was, yes, we can do that for you. Uh, this particular drive, uh, it's, it's a nice drive, but the supplier was very good. I cannot complain, but it, it took a lot of prompting. Can you ship by FedEx? Well, they don't want to ship by FedEx. They want to ship by UPS. Well, I live in Canada, and when we hear the UPS up in Canada, we, we panic because their brokerage fees could be worth more than the drive is worth. Uh, they, they just rip us off big time up here from my past experience. So I don't like anything coming to me by UPS. I like everything coming by FedEx. So it was, well, yeah, we can, but we, we prefer not to. Um, Automation Direct, they sent me a copy of the invoice immediately. They sent me a tracking uh, information immediately. I had to go out and request three times, twice by telephone, once by email, about tracking information so I, I would know when this drive would arrive. Would I deal with the, this company again, the, the supplier? Yes, I would. I, I would buy from them again. I'd buy from either one again. But I just thought I'd pass that on.